to Dima. Welcome back to Therapy Thursday. So I'm sitting here on my back patio, just chilling, just relaxing, doing a little bit of research. And I really wasn't quite sure what I wanted um, to discuss today. And I really didn't want to come to y'all right now because, you know, I'm giving y'all, you know, for real, you know, silly brave realness right now because um, I have a special date later and I'm so excited about that. Um, maybe we'll discuss that and maybe we won't. But anyway, <laughs> we ain't here for that. We are here to talk about therapy, right? So I've been noticing some things that I do when I record. And this is also something that I noticed that I do in real life, which is why when I had this form of therapy, it was pointed out to me and I know exactly what it is now. And I don't always follow the steps that I learned in my therapy, but I'll get back to that one day. But today we're gonna to discuss EMDR therapy. It's a form of psychotherapy that was developed in the 1980s. And basically what it is designed to do is to alleviate stress, um, helps the, the client, the person, um, work through their stress patterns and how to recognize it and to almost pinpoint where that pain spot is, okay? So, EMDR stands for Eye Movement Desensitization and Reprocessing Therapy. <laughs> how many times did it take me to uh, say that correctly? You will never know, I won't tell you that. So, few months ago I'm in therapy and we were talking about my journey of self-worth of me learning more and more about myself and where does my value my personal value where does it stand and how can I become more in tune and more appreciative of my own self okay so what my therapist did, and I've only had three sessions of this, and I'm kind of wondering if I need more. I think I do, and I don't know if you guys notice it, but when I'm recording, I try to always look directly into the camera so that um, you know I have a focal point, and I do that when I talk to people, but then sometimes what I do, I'll look off to the side, and me looking off to the side, especially my right visual field, that is where my, my trauma point is, my pain point is. And in EMDR therapy, it has you focus in that point that you're looking at. It could be up, could be down to the, this side, wherever it is for you, who knows. But for me, my visual pain point for me is off to the right here. Well, you guys can't see it, but off to the right. And I look there when I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna say, what I'm doing, when I'm processing information, um, when I'm thinking about things, all that. I do that. I still do that. I think I'm always gonna do that. I think that's just what it is. So what I learned for me in that spot, she um, took a pointer and she had me follow the pointer, okay? She had me follow the pointer and she noticed when I follow the pointer where my eyes, there it is, off to the right, where my eyes kind of try to stabilize. It looks like, um, almost looks like nystagmus a little bit, uh, where your eyes kind of go like that. But anyway, that's what my eyes do when I get to my pain spot. And we lived right there in that pain spot and she asked me questions about how I was feeling. What is my earliest memory of hurt? Who hurt me? What was the event that happened? What was the resolution? Do I remember the resolution? And I almost like to put it in the mind of what shadow work is. I'm not sure if, if any of you guys know what shadow work is. I have done a little bit of shadow work on myself. I still have a long, long, long way to go. However, that is where you you work through those those places in your life and your in yourself that are so uncomfortable. 
And I think that is the most difficult demon that anybody can tackle is the inner self. Things that make you uncomfortable, things that, you know, make you feel the pain that you've experienced from your, you know, things in your traumatic past and things like that. So I learned, um, you know, I, I think I saw, you know, six, seven year old Tawana in that space um, before my mother ever passed. Um, I think back then, you know, just, I think I may have had, you know, daddy issues back then, um, wanting to see my dad and, and you know how that goes sometimes where one parent may be absent and you're waiting on them, they don't come or things like that. But working in that space and recognizing what it is. And so what I've learned from that is to just deal with things. And it's not always easy, even now, that I do have the tools to deal with things in life that come to me, I still have to journal, which is what I'm supposed to be doing right now. And um, I'm gonna do it when I get off the video, you know. Um, got some decisions to make by tomorrow, so I'm making sure that I am building through all of my opportunities and all the information I can to make sure I make the best decision for me. But anyhow, just learning to be in that space where the pain point is and talking through it, writing through it, um, just doing things you could, you know, if there's a person in your life that they're still living, talk to them, write them a letter, do whatever to get through that because it's hard to heal when you don't really work through the things that bother you. So EMDR therapy I would like to try it again. I don't know when I will do it again. I've been doing therapy um, my one time a month virtually. Uh, there are therapists that do it virtually. Um, I prefer to go, you know, person to person with something like that. Um, if you have a therapist or you're looking for somebody to help you work through your trauma, maybe look up EMDR therapist um, in your area and that may be something that you could work on if you feel like you need to. Um, so I've only done three sessions of that. I'm typically a talk therapy person. I like to talk through my issues. I like to write them out. Um, that's what I do. It just helps me that way. Um, this was also very touching because uh, the first time I did it, it was like I didn't even know that I, I didn't know I did that. I didn't know that I look off to a certain space. I didn't know that my eyes did that when that happens. Uh, when I look in that certain visual field, I didn't know what was bothering me. I didn't even know those things were an issue for me. And it was all the base of why I had screwed up issues with my own self-worth and why I had my sister wife story <laughs> And why I do the nervous laugh, because that's what that is, you know. So, it's just learning more and more about oneself. Uh, so, just wanted to come on and talk about that. I might do a get ready with me video later. I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, so, I got to get ready in a little, well, about a couple hours. But, got to get ready for some things. So, uh, I'm going to take down the the silly braids <laughs> and my hair should be nice and crinkly the way I like it you know what I'm saying so um I definitely post some stuff on my Instagram when I get dressed but you guys want to come off and give y'all that information I hope everybody's having a wonderful beautiful day it is hot as hell down here and um wherever you are in the country in the world hot, cold, whatever, please take care of yourself, stay hydrated, stay happy, get some sun, take a walk, do something just for you, be a little selfish because we all deserve it, and uh, I will see you next time, these are this.